Transposable elements, also known as transposons, or jumping genes, are an important part of the human genome. Transposons were first discovered in 1944 by Barbara McClintock, a scientist and cytogeneticist who was working with maize. Her work was dismissed until the 60s and 70s when they were rediscovered in bacteria. McClintock was eventually awarded the Nobel Prize in 1983, nearly 40 years after her discovery. There are two classes of transposable elements. Class 1 is called retrotransposons and Class 2 is called DNA transposons. Retrotransposons use a copy and paste mechanism that starts with an RNA transposon that needs to undergo reverse transcription to be made into a DNA transposon. It needs to be in the DNA form in order to insert into the genome. The DNA transposon locates to the target sites, and transposase creates staggered cuts in the genome. The transposon pastes itself into the DNA sequence and then DNA polymerase fills in the gaps that were created so that the strands of DNA are complete. In contrast, DNA transposons use a cut and paste mechanism to insert into the genome. The DNA transposon cuts itself out of the DNA and forms a hairpin structure and attacks the target site creating staggered cuts in the DNA. The DNA transposon then pastes itself into the DNA. Once again, DNA polymerase fills in the gaps so that the two strands of DNA are complete. The main difference between these two classes is that retrotransposons need to be reverse transcribed to be inserted into the genome. So why are transposons important? Transposable elements account for 44% of the human genome. They are important in viruses because they can provide resistance to drugs that could kill them. This makes it dangerous for humans because the transposons can lead to viruses to be lethal. Transposons are also mutagens, which means they can cause genetic mutations. When the transposon inserts itself into a gene or near a gene, it can disrupt its function and cause it to not make the necessary proteins. In conclusion, Transposons make up a significant portion of our genome and contribute to mutations which can cause diseases. There are two classes of transposons, retrotransposons and DNA transposons. The main difference is whether they start with an RNA or a DNA copy of the transposon. Although discovered in 1944 by Barbara McClintock, there is still more research to be done today to understand how transposons can be manipulated for medical use.